So this stuff is amazing. So this is the stuff, and during our tour, Isaac's actually talked about the adhesives a lot, but you can do some research on this stuff. This stuff is top grade. This is the top shelf, really, really expensive adhesive. The, the capability, they use this to adhere stuff to the metal, the aluminum, you know? Fiberglass to the aluminum, the sheeting to the roof, the aluminum. And this adhesive, once you adhere it together, you know, he was saying that you put a press on it. They have, there's this machine that they use that does like compress 30 pounds and pull apart 30 pounds. And essentially you, if you put like the metal or the wood against it, it's almost impossible to pull it apart with this adhesive. They will actually, the, it will disintegrate. The wood or, or the fiberglass or the metal, you know, it just rips the metal in half before it actually breaks the bond of this adhesive. So really cool stuff. This is like, in the world of adhesives, this is one of the most expensive adhesives that you can get. Numar, I think he was talking about Numar, they had a lot of this developed for them. You know, you're talking 10 times more expensive than standard adhesives. And, and we've had this, we've had issues in some of our trailers where we're getting delaminations, where we have issues. And, and you know, when I was telling this to Isaac the other day, the frustrations about it, and he's like, he's like, well, when you think about it, that's the one thing that a manufacturer can cut expenses on and you would never know, right? They can make, make it look shiny and pretty, but you never know what type of adhesives they're using. That's an easy thing to cut without knowing, right? It's because the consumer can't see it until you start having issues. And he's like, this adhesive that we buy, he's like, I could buy it for, you know, a barrel for a hundred dollars. It's like, this stuff is like $1,300. So much, much more expensive, but also like, that's what's gonna give the longevity. My observation of this entire experience is that they really care about what they're making here. They really believe in their product and it doesn't feel like they're, they're like looking at things and making decisions off of cost, right? We see that so much in the world where it's like, what should we put in it, this or this? Well, which one's cheaper? Let's put the cheaper one in it. To me, it feels like it's been this like, hey, which one should we put in it? Well, what will last the longest? What's, what's gonna make, what's gonna hold it together the best? And let's use that, right? It blows my mind is because that's a completely different mentality. I feel like all of these trailers, all of the things that I've been learning about, how they, everything, all the products that they're using, it's like, this is gonna last 20 years and not have problems. Like the roof, for example. The roof that he's, the stuff that, the materials he's using, this roof potentially is gonna last 20, 30 years. And I see where, or maybe longer even, some of the material they're using, it's so, so good. And I see where the, the standard RV rubber roof has like a 10 year life on it. That's it. You know, and they're kind of like, and they're just okay with it. They're like, after 10 years, you got to replace the roof. That's just part of ownership of this trailer. And, and it really is impressive that he's like, it's not just about what's the cheapest thing I can put on it, but instead what's gonna last the longest. It feels like this is a trailer that you can keep for your entire life and hand down to your kids. Like there's not very manufacturers out in the industry or in, in the world that think like that. That's what I'm learning from this entire thing. If I could sum it all up, <laughs> that's kind of what I would say. So anyway, once again, thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon.